Dylan was my eldest child, um, born 17th of October 97, and when he was born I made him a promise that I would look after him and protect him forever. Um, a brilliant young lad, son to be proud of. He went to primary school, sailed through it, went to high school, become athlete of the school two years in a row, really physically fit, um, on tracks for getting A's in his GCSEs. So really, really, you know, loving life. Um, on the 3rd of July 2011, I'd gone to a football match with one of my other children and basically received a phone call saying Dylan was in trouble at the quarry. Um, my first thoughts were that he'd fallen, that maybe he'd have a broken bone. Um, the water never really entered my head, if I'm being totally honest. I was totally naive to it, totally uneducated about it, didn't have a clue. We got to the quarry. Um, my husband told me that my son had passed away. And I remember collapsing. And I remember begging to be in that ambulance with Dylan. Um, I was told that Dylan had been in the water for about 20 minutes with his friends. And I was told that he got into some kind of trouble and he was underwater for no more than three minutes. The man that pulled Dylan out said, had it been able to get to him 60 seconds earlier. He deserved his life. He was still stood up. He hadn't even fled from. I don't know how this happens. I don't know how we fix this. I just know that if I'd have knew then what I know now, my life would be totally different. Tomorrow, it's going to be nine years since losing my firstborn child. And I, I still can't come to terms with that, that my son's never coming home. I still can't come to terms with the fact that my daughter cries herself to sleep. I still struggle with the fact that my son's reach out for the big brother and he's not there. And it's very much felt in the house that me and Dad um, aren't the same mum and Dad that we were before we lost Dylan because losing a child changes you. And I don't really know what my message is, if I'm being totally honest. I just wish that I could put you in my shoes for one day so that you never have to live your life like this. I, I wish I knew about cold water shock. I wish I knew about undercurrents. I wish I knew about um, the water being stronger than people nine years ago. I didn't. How can you possibly teach something that you don't know? We're a very much a generation of people that are uneducated where water safety is concerned. And I genuinely believe that swimming in open water requires a skill set. It requires um, training. It requires going to places that is safe, that lifeguards are on hand, that your safety is paramount. And adults are going around just jumping in rivers, lakes, quarries, reservoirs and setting the example to our youth, our children of tomorrow, our adults of tomorrow, should I say, um, that it's okay to do that and actually it's not. So many children, teens and adults don't make it home after 20 minutes of swimming or a walk along the canal or... Um, a night out and they've took um, a quick route home, I'm here to say it's not worth it. It's not worth getting in the water for a swim. It's it's not worth taking that shortcut home by the canal. It's This is what's left behind. And I tell you something now, I know my son never ever wanted me to feel like this. He never went out to die that day. He went out for a bit of fun, just like thousands of you are doing every single day. The unknown of being on the water side and maybe their mate pushing them in, at having a bit of fun and them hitting their head, or not knowing what's under the surface of the water, not knowing how deep it is, not knowing if they would have 
cramp or have shock of the cold water. All the rationale and all the reasons we give to young people to say, listen, you're not superhuman. There are dangers in that water that are unknown to you, unknown to us. And for five minutes of fun, or a bit of a joke, a bit of a laugh, you're risking your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, going through the trauma of losing you, not just for that one day, that one summer's day, but for the rest of their life. And thinking, is it really worth it?